hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is abby wedge today i'm going to show us how to make this beautiful hair fascinator fascinators are worn by everyone especially the royal family of england and the queen of england is not left out she wears them to prettify her attire you can see how beautiful she looks on them can you see this to match with her outfit this is loving she looks beautiful you can see that necklace she's putting on i'm going to show us how to make it so you all you need to do is just to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned because our next video is going to be the bomb let's get started here are the materials needed for the project i have a hairband here this one i'm going to use inside then a bias here is a tiny wire i'm going to use this bias to cover this tiny wire then my cap this is the cap that's going to be at the middle then the clinorin this is the wide clinorin a net this is the net i'm going to use to cover the tiny wire then um my feathers this is the one they measured in yards needle and thread uhu glue my scissors and a cutter this is what i'm going to use to cut this um tiny wire out then of course um a little um design here that i'm going to use to attach to the main hat when i'm done i'm simply going to take um 50 inches of the tiny wire then cut it out thereafter i will join the two ends together like this meanwhile i'll pass my thread after i'm um, joining the threads together i make sure that the stick i double it severally then place it at the middle of the two then i will just tie it till i get to this end and repeat the same on the other end thereafter i cut it out then i will simply add some glue to the bias and use it to cover this tiny wire like this uh, so I'm going to cover it so I go around. Thereafter, I'm going to place it on top of the net like this. Then neatly gather the edges together with my hands and pull it together. You can see I'm gathering it now. Then I'll pull it close. The more you pull, the more the um, wire um, bends you can see see the down part is looking rough so I it means I still have to pull it again so I'll start pulling those parts that are not up yet till everything is neat like this then I'll simply get the trade and tie it very tight After tying it, I'm going to have something like this. You see, I already cut it out. You see both back and front, very neat. Then I will simply add this um, cap on top. Before then, I will apply some glue around it. Then place it on top of the net as well. I'll first of all pull four parts. When I pull one part, I pull the opposite. And I repeat the same thing here and the other side as well. So I'm going to pull it like this. I'll go around and pull everything. Thereafter, I'm going to um trim it off i'll just trim off this excess then apply some glue again and place it on top of this um um brim let's call it brim you see so i'm not placing it on the sides um where it's smooth i'm placing it on the other side where i have the the where i tied it so after that i'm going to use my needle and try to just tack it with it so that it can be firm a little because at the end of the day we're going to cut it so i'm just going to sew it round now 
this is the last part so I'll tie it like this can you see that then I'll simply cut this part out with my scissors You see the other parts I'll still trim the down part as well thereafter I'll apply some glue and making sure that I press it down so it can be neat that is what I got out of that part so I'll simply add it here if you want to learn how to make this particular ruffle here I will leave the link in the um, come in the description box so you can check it out on how to make this you can use it for your ruffle I, I made it before or I taught it before on how to make a ruffle in three minutes you can learn it from there so I will just um, add it to this part now then i will attach my feathers I, I cut them in bits so i will simply add them one after the other like so you can see you can add as much feathers as you want so then i will tack it with my needle and thread remember in this project i'm adding um design at both the inside and the outer part so i'm done with the outer part so this is the inside now so that's how i want it you could you can do yours you can leave it only on one part but this is what i want for this project then after turning it around like this note i did not cut this like the way i cut the other side then I'm going to fold this clinorine like this, fold it the first time, like um, in form of a bow tie, then double it. I want it to be like a um, two step. Then I will tie the middle very neatly or tight, then trim off the excess. Then attach it to the heart. I'm going to make double of this because I'm going to add one at the the top of the heart and the other at the inside of the heart. Fascinating, sorry. Then I'm going to tack it with my needle and thread so it can be firm. Like this. Thereafter, I will simply add the um, accessories. Just apply some glue on it, then come it to the top of the um, fascinator. This place that I I stitched earlier on. You can see the 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 stitches are showing. So I need this thing to cover it up. You could use anything you want for that part. I will just go around. Then I'll add some glue to the um, hairband, then attach it to this um, side of the fascinator, then use my needle and thread to hold it down. Thereafter, I'll cut a little piece of um, net, fold it um, into two or three so it can be um, thick a little so the thread won't be showing, then apply some glue and use it to cover up that place I stitched earlier on, on the hairband just to cover up the rough edges there and the heart is set can you see how lovely it's looking if you know you've learned something new today don't forget to subscribe to this channel can you see it this fascinator is wow you can see the design both inside and outer parts you could put this part in front it can also be at the back whichever way you want you can see I can even turn my head you can dance and it won't fall off because it's very firm Wow this is beautiful you can see it I turned it to the back side as well very beautiful stay tuned for more videos I remain every word. See you in my next class. Bye.